You can see that it's still juicy. It's like dribbling down my fingers. Gabrielle, I'm so sorry. It's so good. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Hannah. I'm a food writer and recipe developer here to show you how to make kimchi patty melts today. I'll be bringing you a whole host of easy weeknight friendly meals um, from here on out. I have a pretty busy household and we don't have much time to uh, prep dinner day in and day out. So let's get cooking. So here's what you'll need for kimchi patty melts. Um, slices of pepper jack cheese, a little uh, butter and sugar for the caramelized kimchi, some condiments that you likely already have in your pantry, uh, rye bread and ground beef, uh, an 80-20 blend. That just means 80% lean, 20% fat. You need the juiciness, so I wouldn't go any leaner than that. So we're gonna start by sauteing up some very ripe kimchi. You'll know kimchi's really ripe because it'll hit you once you open the fridge. Um, that's when you know that you should use it for something like kimchi jjigae or fried rice or a kimchi patty melt. And right here we have about a cup. We're going to um, caramelize it in a little butter and sugar to draw out that sweetness and kind of mimic the caramelized onions that you'd find in a traditional patty melt. You can just put everything in at once. It's no problem. Let it go. We're gonna cook this down for like five or six minutes and you'll know it's ready when any, when all of the residual kimchi juice has evaporated and the color has darkened a little bit. So while we get the kimchi going, I'm going to prepare the ground beef. I like to keep things very simple. We're going to season one pound of ground beef. And as I mentioned, it's an 80-20 blend. Um, add about a tablespoon. You don't have to be too precise. I like to do a tablespoon until it kind of runs over, yeah. So we're just gently massaging the meat. You don't wanna pack it down too firmly. Um, you just wanna make sure everything is coated with the Worcestershire sauce. And what we'll do to um, ensure that we have a delicious patty. So it's, patty melts are one of my favorites because they basically are the hybrid of my favorite grilled cheese and a hamburger. And so you don't want any one thing overwhelming the other. And it's not, it's not a burger. We're not looking for a thick, patty here. We're looking for a really thin patty that kind of mimics the width of your bread. Slices of rye bread are oblong and kind of big, right? So just get a clean cutting board and flatten out your meat patties to roughly resemble that bread. And you can even go a little bit um, bigger than the slice of bread because they shrink. So start off with you know a little football size and then press out. And then we're going to season with salt and pepper, obviously before they hit the pan. The kimchi is ready. I'm turning off the heat. You can tell, well, it's hard to tell because this is a dark bottom pan, but um, it's kind of caramelized on the edges and all of the excess liquid has, um, has evaporated. So just set it to the side and we'll get going on our uh, meat patties. Pan is ready and go. Oh yeah, much better. Love that sound. And we season the first side already, so now we get to season the other side. One minute. You wanna give them a press. If you have a burger press, now's the time to use it. Otherwise, just use like your heaviest, biggest spatula. So we just cleaned out the pan after um, cooking the beef patties. They're just resting for a minute. And we're gonna assemble the sandwich. We're prepping the bread rye slices, you can use whatever style you like. I like seeded. Um, we're going to mayo up the outside, not butter, uh, because it really gives a nice uniform golden crust. And 
it has a slightly higher smoke point than butter does, so you won't get that um, burny char that you sometimes get with um, the milk solids that melt too fast in a hot skillet. And then the secret, or not so secret ingredient, but the ingredient that really takes this sandwich over the top is garlic salt. So Lindsay Jean Hard, if you're out there, she wrote an article for Food 52 years ago um, telling everyone that her husband, a deadhead, picked up his secret for really exquisite grilled cheese and it was uh, all due to garlic salt. Now it's still salt so you really want to use a light hand on this. I'm going to mayo the top side of each of these slices and then per sandwich just sprinkle a little bit of garlic salt. We're assembling. So. Bread, one slice of cheese. Another layer of cheese. Pop this off. I actually do like to just like borrow a lid. This pan doesn't come with a lid and do like a gentle press until the side is ready. Now would be a great time to like this video, subscribe to the Food52 YouTube channel if you haven't already, and um, let me know what your favorite diner classic is down below. It sure is pretty. Gentle press. But once you see the cheese is melted or melting, um, I wouldn't um, squeeze too hard. So now we're going to cut into this. I like to cut it at a moderate diagonal, not a sharp one and not halfway. Um, I think it just evokes um, that diner feeling as do a couple toothpicks. They also help you keep the shape. So I wish I had the fun ones with the plastic um, like streamer. It's not super oozy, but it is very good looking. Mmm. I mean, that garlic salt is it. And you just need it on one side. Any more, and it will overwhelm the sandwich, but it gives such a nice just hit of flavor. We didn't overdo it on the cheese, um, but it's perfectly melted over the caramelized kimchi, which is both a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet, um, a little bit crunchy. The 80-20 blend is key here. You can see that it's still juicy. It's like dribbling down my fingers into the bread. It's so good. I hope you guys make it um, as soon as possible. <laughs> This is delicious as is, but it's such a great jumping off point for substitutions. I bet if you are a stickler for caramelized onions, you can leave them in. If you prefer a different type of ground uh, meat or faux meat, like a Beyond Burger type ground uh, meat substitution, that would work here. I think the key is to focus on those little details, the garlic salt, the mayo on the bread, the thinner sized patty, caramelizing of whatever cabbage or allium you use, and the pepper jack cheese, and I think you've got a winner. Mm. You can get the recipe for this down in the description box. You can also head over to food52.com, make it, tag me, tag food52. I'd love to see how you guys um, enjoy this kimchi patty melt, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi. So one final note that I wanted to add is that my daughter who prefers hamburgers to cheeseburgers, she doesn't want the cheese um, in her sandwich and she doesn't really eat much kimchi because her spice tolerance is still kind of low. I made this while I was recipe testing and she gobbled the whole thing up. So if you need 
um, a seven-year-old testimony to the deliciousness of this sandwich. Um, you got it right there.